We're going to divide polynomials using synthetic uh, division with this video. I want to first remind you of um, how we do long division. So very quickly, if I were to do long division on this, I would get, um, I would do x minus 3 um, goes into 2x cubed minus x squared and we don't have an x, so I'm going to go ahead and put plus 0x, then plus 3, and we're trying to find the quotient and the remainder. So we're just asking ourselves what times x gives me 2x cubed, and that's going to be 2x squared. So you get 2x squared cubed when you multiply, um, minus 6x squared. And then you subtract and this goes away, that was our goal, and this is going to end up being 5x. Alright, 5x squared, and then you bring down the 0x and do it again, and what times x gives you 5x squared, and that would be 5x, so that gives you 5x squared, minus 15x, and then we're going to subtract the whole thing, this goes our way, which is our goal. You have 0 minus a negative 15, that's plus 15x. And then bring down the 3, plus 3, and we're going to do this one time. And that's just going to be plus 15. 15 times x is 15x, minus 45. When you subtract, that goes away minus a negative, that's going to end up being positive, so that's going to be 48. So your answer is uh, your quotient plus the remainder, which is 48, over x minus 3. <clears throat> now, synthetic division, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the x's and right in here. And we're just going to uh, do it in a simpler way. And our divisor, let's not forget, is x minus 3. So what we're going to do on the next video is rewrite this using synthetic division. And you're going to like it a little better. Um, what we're going to do, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write down the 3. I remember our divisor was x minus 3. So we're going to use 3. Because 3, when you set this to 0, you get 3. And then different teachers do it different ways. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down these coefficients. The 2, not this one, sorry. The, the 2, negative 1, 0, and 3. So I'm going to write down the... Um, which is the first thing we do. We're going to write to the 3. Let's go back. I'm going to check real quick. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is write down the 2, negative 1, 0, and 3. And we go back. All we did is we wrote everything down but we didn't bring the x's down. If you want to go back and label this, this would have been our x cubed, this would have been our x squared, this would have been our x to the first power, this would have been our x to the zero power. Now, leave a little space and you draw a line about yay high or yay wide and bring down the first term. And you bring down the first term, and that's 2, and you're ready to go. And all you're going to do is multiply and add. Multiply and add. So we're going to multiply 3 times 2 gives me a 6, and I'm going to add. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Okay? Now, we're going to multiply 3 times 5 is 15. And I'm going to add 0 plus 15 is 15. Now I'm going to multiply 3 
times 15 and get 45. Whoops, sorry. Now we're thinking here. 45, and then I'm going to add. And when you add, you get 48. Now, when you write this back out, we went down one. Now let's look at the other answers. Our answers were right here. 2 x squared plus 5x plus 15. Notice that the degree went down by 1 here. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to write, we start it with x cubed, we go down 1. So this is going to be 2x squared plus 5x plus 15. The last bit, I always make my students draw a line here, is the remainder. So that's going to be plus 48, and remember we set this to 0, so that's going to be x minus 3. Okay? And that is your answer. That was a lot faster. We tend not to make as many mistakes when we do this because we're adding versus um, um, subtracting. So, let's try another one. We want to divide x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5 we, need, we want to divide it by x minus 3 so the one thing you need to remember is you're not going to put a negative 3 here, you're going to put a 3 then other than that you're going to just put your coefficients here so if you want, until you get used to this, go ahead and put we need an x cubed we need an x squared we need an x and x to the 0. Remember this would be x to the 0. x to the 0 equals 1. It's x to the oh, go 0. I can't get it to go, but that's x to the 0, this 5. So now, just write down everything. Um, the coefficient in front of x cubed is 1. In front of x squared is negative 4. We don't have an x, so I'm going to put 0 and x to the 0 is our negative 5. Okay, this is putting the, the equation in standard form. Now, the next step you need to remember before you can start is bring down the first term. So I brought that down and you're ready to go. And these are actually kind of fun because you can um, try to go faster and faster. So let's try to go a little faster here. 3 times 1 is 3. Add these two. You get negative 1. Then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Add these two and you get, or combine these two and you get negative 3. Alright, and then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Combine these and you get negative 14. Now, when we write, rewrite the polynomial, we start it with x cubed, so we're going to go down 1. So this is 1 times x squared minus 1 times x minus 3, and then this last bit here is the remainder. So we write this as minus 14 over x minus 3. And then of course you want to clean this up and take the get rid of the ones. Minus x minus 3 minus 14 over x minus 3. Okay? Now we can try another one. Um, let's try this one. Um, let's try 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2, 1 divided by x plus 2. So in this case, I'm going to write, because when you set this to 0, you get negative. x is negative 2. I'm going to write negative 2. I'm going to write 4, negative 3, 1, and 1. And I'm going to draw my line. Bring First step is always bring down the 4. And now you're going to multiply and add. So negative, four time, um, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Add. This will be 22. Add. Multiply and you get negative 46. And add. So you get negative 45. 
um, since we started with x cubed, we're going to go down one, so this would be 4x um, squared minus 11x plus 23. This last bit is always our remainder, minus 45 over x plus 2. Okay? You want to do one more? We can do, um, let's do this one. 3x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x plus 2. Write negative 2 here. Write down my coefficients in order, descending order. And I'm going to, the first step, what is it? Bring down the first coefficient, which is 3. You're going to multiply and add. Multiply and add. Multiply and add. Then since we started with x cubed, we're going to go down 1. So this would be 3x squared minus 7x plus 15 minus 32 over x plus 2. Let me see if I did this right on this other one. Yeah, did it right. All right, and that is your answer. Um, there's some more details to follow with this, but this is just to get you started. Um, and that is all of this video.